Hi everybody, Kat here. Thanks for joining me again today. Today we had our first big dumping of snow overnight and uh, went out to shovel and found a tree on our car. So I've had that kind of day and so now it's about 4.30 p.m. and I decided to relax. I'm going to come and paint something and I turn the camera on and hope you'll join me. It's, I don't know if you could see the diagram. I'll include a sketch at the end of the video. It's a little baby robin with a Christmas hat and uh, sitting on a branch with some holly. So I think that would be kind of fun and uh, let's get started. I have some scarlet red. I have orange. Any orange you want. I don't want to tell you what this is because apparently they <laughs> discontinued the color. Uh, I have some violet. I have burnt sienna and I have ultramarine blue. I may have to add an indigo blue depending how dark I can get this later. I'd like to make a black but I'm not sure how dark I can get these two. Oh and just before we get started I have a 9x6 paper here that I taped in half because I think I'm going to paint on both sides and cut it and then use it as a card. So I have a piece of scrap paper here just to cover the other side in case I start splashing or spraying water. So to start with I'm going to go in the belly with some of this orange. So I'm going to just work. I have my brush kind of on this on the side not upright and I'm just going to work it into around here I'm trying to keep the, these lines sort of jagged, not not um, not smooth. I'm going to dip my brush into water and you see how watery that is? I did not take any water off and I'm going to drag down this color. Now I'm rinsing my brush, dabbing it, and now I'm going to do it again. Drag down a little more until it just fades off into nothingness. I think I need a tiny bit more. A bit more water. Okay. And up by the, the breast here, I'm going to add a little bit of the red that I'm going to use in the hat just to get that kind of richer darker color going. And I try to include if you're going to use a color in one area it's always nice to work it in in another. Now I'm I used a damp brush so I wet it dried it off on the towel just to work that in. Now I haven't decided this would be the time if you want to get all splishy splashy. So let's let's do a little splish splash. Just a little bit. Just so it's fun. Now I don't want any of those splashes in my leaves so I'm just wetting them and I'm going to dab it back up. Oh that's not a leaf. Okay in my holly leaf. And I don't want it where the white is. There we go. Perfect. Now this part of the bird is kind of gray and it's going to lead into a black tail. So I'm using my ultramarine blue. I don't normally work from um, a tube paint but I just bought some new so I just thought I'd put it in my palette. So to get a nice gray you would take some ultramarine blue and add a little bit of burnt sienna. And it has to have to be gray. It has to have a bit more ultramarine blue. To be brown it has to have a bit more burnt sienna. So I think that's kind of nice. It's nice and watery. You have to have lots of water. And I'm just going to come up here and work my way down here.
rinse my brush. I think I'm going to have a lost edge there. I'm just going to soften that out into nothingness. And now I'm going to try and get this to be black. I don't know if I can get it to go dark enough. So I'm going to try though. If I can't, I'll use some indigo. I often like to use a separate brush for mixing because sometimes I'm kind of rough with my brush. Yeah, I don't think with whatever I'm using, I'm going to get it dark enough for my liking. So I'm going to use some indigo. You can use straight black if you don't have, that's okay. I just thought I would show you some mixing. So there's some indigo. And here's some burnt sienna. And of course I overdid it, so more indigo. I end up with this huge puddle, puddle of paint that I don't need. <laughs> okay, and the tail is somewhere around here. Just like that. And I'm going to go up like this into to find this wing. Just making little stripies. Nothing, nothing fancy dancy about this bird. Except that he's cute as a button. So now we're going to go around the beak. And now the cottony part of that Santa hat is going to be like uneven and fluffy. So make sure your brush strokes, you're going to poke towards the drawing, in towards the drawing. And down here, I'm going to put some black. And when you join the two, my paint is dry, so I can drag some of that black out with the tip of my brush. into the orange and the gray here. I just see a spot I forgot. Just put a bit more. You see how dark that goes? And that's just indigo and burnt sienna. While this is drawing, as I said, you can spray right now. You can spray if you want the belly to, to bleed a little bit. It's whatever you like to do. I decided to just do some splashing. I might do some more later. So while that's drying, I don't want to do the hat because this black will definitely bleed. So I'm going to start to do these berries. So I'm going to use the Scarlet red and I'm going to try to leave a highlight if I can't leave the highlight whoops if I can't leave the highlight then I'll just use white paint later so don't stress over it so I'm just going to leave a little highlight there my brush is separating it's driving me crazy this is the aqua elite and if you don't have it sopping wet full of paint it does separate on me so I'm going to go back to my my uh, cheapy brush here, which I love. <laughs> and just getting in that initial layer of red. So for this, I'm kind of working with the tip. I don't, I'm not really on the side too much because I don't want to go out of the lines too far. And I'll do this, this one, leaving a little highlight. This one, as you can see, I'm painting quite quickly, which I often do for the videos and even when I don't intend to. <laughs> um, I, I, I often feel a bit rushed when I'm making a video and I, and I know I shouldn't, but I, oh, I'm always afraid that you're going to get bored if it's too long. So, so there's the last one. Just putting a little bit more. I had a bit too much water there. Now, because these are teeny tiny and it doesn't matter if they're dry, 
I'm going to drop in a little bit of some warm, some of that orange into here. Just a little, just to add a little bit of color to them, not just the red. And I'm putting it a little closer to the highlight than anywhere else. Okay, just popping that in. Okay, so I think there's been enough time here. I'm going to leave the berries to dry and now I'm going to do the hat. Once again, I'm going to do this red. And to make something look round, you always do the edges darker. So this is the first layer and we're going to do that cotton edge a little wonky so it doesn't look smooth. Just like that. Wet your brush, like really rinse it and dab it. And then you're going to take a bit of the paint, just take it up a little bit. And this is going to lighten the red and it's going to leave your edges a little bit darker so it looks round. And right as it's wet, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of violet. So I'm just going to make sure it's the very tip of my brush. And it would be very dark here where it's folded. And that is very dark. So I'm going to just do the inside of the hat here. So where it's folded and hanging and then this side and the rest I'm going to leave until it's a bit drier because I don't want that bleeding all over the place. And if it does, you make a thirsty brush, you wet it, dry it off, and then you sop some of that paint up. So I, now I'll do the two holly leaves. I still have purple on my brush. Make sure the red is out of your brush because if you mix green and red, it makes brown. So because I have ultramarine here, I'm going to put some yellow and some ultramarine blue. Oops. And I'm going to paint a line just beyond the middle. It doesn't have to be straight. And I'm just going to fill in around the berries and around that shape. And I'm using a brush that comes to a nice point. This is the one thing I do like about this, this uh, Aqua Elite, but there's a few things I don't like about it, but every brush, I could, ha I could all, I'm the kind of person who could own 50 brushes and use them all in like one project. <laughs> it's a little insane, but I'm just, that's the way I am. Okay. And don't worry if one side is lighter than the other, it looks kind of neat. So what I did there, I made a little gap in the center of that. And I think I'll fill in, fill the center of that right there, just at the tip. So now I'm going to do this one the same way. I have another video um, that I did last year that I painted Holly for a Christmas card. And it's a little, did I paint Holly? Or it might be on a little puppy dog. Um, I, it's a little more in depth, but it's the same. I kind of paint them the same way. So now I'm mixing a bit more green. Okay. And I do the same thing. I'm going to draw this middle line with my brush and then I'm going to fill in the rest. This is just a small piece of paper. If you wanted to do this as a nice painting, I think this would be a great subject and it doesn't have to be a card. It could be really, really a nice painting to hang on your wall. Now the other side, make it a little bit different color and do the same thing. Going to leave that little gap and paint. I 
I really want to thank everybody who watches my videos and I, I've really uh, grown in the last month or so because I think a lot of people like to paint around Christmas time. I like to paint all year and I hope that the I hope that it catches on. I hope you guys really like to paint all year because I've been planning for for January a few few painting projects. It's very difficult to plan things that other YouTubers haven't done. Okay, this I don't like this harsh line here. I wonder if I can fix that. Maybe I'll just add a bit more of that color and then it won't look so odd. Now with my stiffer pointy brush, I want it wet, dry it off on the towel. I'm going to take out a glint for the eye right there. And if it if I can't get enough of it up, then I will use white paint. Beak. We're going to do the beak. I think I'm just going to use the burnt sienna and the orange. So a bit of this orange for the first layer. And I'll tame it with some burnt sienna while it's wet. And it would be darker beneath, whoops, that's too wet. Let me take that up and try again. It would be darker beneath the beak. Okay, next I'm going to add a little tiny bit, very watery ultramarine blue. Very, very watery. Just to give this, so it, it'll stand out. So the whites of the hat will look all ruffled and muffled and it'll stand out. Just gives it a little bit of depth and then you know it's there. I think I'm going to go over that black again because I'd like it to, to be more bold. And now I'm going to do the branch, the first part of the branch. So I think I'm going to use straight burnt sienna for that. It's a little orangey, but the second layer of color will fix that. And I did not want to paint the bird's feet because I just didn't want to. So the branch is right under that bird. And it's coming this way. And there's all knobs and things and nubs and knobs and whatever have you on branches. So don't worry if you've if it's not straight because you want those things on your branch. It kind of makes it look a little more realistic. Now with the burnt sienna and the ultramarine, I'm going to make them brown. So it would need more burnt sienna to make a brown. Whoopsie. I'm not used to working straight from the tube. So there's a brown. And I'm going to just drop it in here and there. And the nubs are going to have a, a little more shadow than the rest. I'm putting in this as kind of like the a really dark value. And it would be darker under the bird, right? And there's a nub there. It would be darker under the berries. So I'm just tickling that brush on the branch. And then we can go in with a different color again later. For now though, we want those two values in. So there's the light and then there's the dark. And then hopefully we can add a different one and it'll all blend in together. Now we're going to do some shadows on the berries. The light is here, so it's going to be a little bit darker over on the left side. So I'm using that violet, but this violet is really dark. So I'm going to add it with some of that red and tone it down a little bit. Just want to get enough. So, okay. 
So we're going to come like that in here, in here, and I'm going to use a different brush to just soften it. So a nice damp brush and we're just going to soften those lines. If I use the same brush, then what's going to happen is I'm going to keep rinsing out this bit of paint. I only need a little bit. So, okay. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to make this one quite dark because it's underneath this one. And this one. And we're just going to soften it out with a damp, damp brush. Just tickling those edges with the damp brush. It just kind of blends into the red. I'm going to redampen it and clean it, make sure it's clean. There we go. And I leaned into this black paint. I, I know I'm wearing it. So I will be painting that again too. Now I'm going to paint the face again. Try, I'm going to try and leave this, this eye alone. I'm going to use this black that we made earlier just to do another layer. And I'm going to just avoid that eye. There. I like the belly. I, I like how that turned out. I am going to add a tiny little light bit of this orange, like super, super watery down here. Because against a white background, that white belly won't show up. Okay. I'm going to make a little bit more of the light gray. No more. Brushing that on. And the black, I'm running out of this black again. I think I'm going to just use regular black. It's just a little dull regular black. So what you could do is use the black and then add a hint of the ultramarine into it. That was more than a hint, but that'll do. So. I didn't like that line, so I'm going to just try to get it to bleed into the rest of the wing here. And I'll do the, the tail again. Just making little feathers. And this time my brush is up. So I'm really making good use of that beautiful point. Now, I think I'm going to add the third color in here. I think, hmm, what do I want? I think I might add some ultramarine blue to the brown actually and see, see if I like it. And I'm just going to gray this up. Yeah, that's what I didn't like about it. And then dab it off. So I'm using a bit of ultramarine, kind of watered down. So I'm just going over the whole thing with some ultramarine, just a thin, thin, thin wash, and I'm graying everything up. And then I'm just dabbing it with a clean towel. And with the nice dark brown. Be dark near the bird. more water. 
there. I want to make sure that this layer is a bit watery. So I'm just adding some imperfections to the branch. And this is with the brown, watery brown. Maybe I'll do a bit more of the green. It would be darker around the bird, I think. Just outline. There you go. This one too. I had prepared a snowman <laughs> uh, video. Um, and even though it's not the same... Um, of course I'm a different person and it's not the same. I, someone else just put one out, I think today, yesterday, or <laughs> so I said, oh boy. So I decided not to put that up. I'll save it for next year and, uh, decided to do this. I'm going to get my white paint. A lot of people ask what kind of white I use. So Right now, I'm using Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. It is not my favorite thing because mine crystallizes all the time, so I have to add water to it. But it does work well. It, there's, there's, that's all that's wrong with it. it. Just, it always crystallizes on me. I, do, I don't know why. So I'm going to take a little bit. I, I have to take it on my brush and just make sure it's not too, too much. And I'm going to put a glint here for the eye. And I think I'm going to fix a few of these. Highlights. Although it's not so bad. I think I caught the white of the paper pretty well. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of white on the beak. Just, just touching it as lightly as I can and then I'm going to put a dark line with really really tiny 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 bit of paint on my on the edge of my brush on the tip of my brush and I'm going to just draw a tiny line just suggesting there's a little little line where the bird's mouth is Okay, and last but not least, we're going to put in some dark brown uh, berry stems. Hmm, this is a nice brown. See, and, the, and when you mix, you never know what you're going to get. Unless you're a real master of mixing. I need that a little bit waterier. Watch those droplets of paint on the ferrule of your brush because they will come and bite you in the rear end. They will fall down and make a splash where you don't want to splash. More stems here. Some stems there. If you don't have a wet enough brush, you can't get a good point. And I do think that eye needs a bit more white paint. Just right there. If you're not happy with your hat, you can always add more white paint. Let's try that. I'll show you what that looks like. So that would require a bit more on your brush and dab it off on your palette over and over and over and then you can dab it onto your painting. Just here and there. It's a, this painting is a white background so the ultramarine kind of offers the the it, it works as your white almost you know so so that you could see that there's a little pom-pom there and 
and that's it. I'm going to call that done. If you don't, oh, I did lean in this, didn't I? Scrubbing it off. But I could always put a red splash there because I splashed the painting. So let's see. Okay, we'll let that. And maybe I, I think I am going to splash a bit more. So to tie it all in, we can splash ultramarine blue. We can splash the red. I really like the red. It's a nice Christmas color. And I think I'll, I'll make some green and splash the green and then call that a day. Splashing some ultramarine blue. I'm not getting very big splash marks because my brush is, is small. But there we have it. I think I'm going to add a few, a few feathers here. Almost dry brushing here. Almost. Just to give the illusion a nice fluffy bird. It's just a little baby, so. So that's it for my Christmas bird. I hope it relaxed you as much as it relaxed me. And I hope you give it a try. If you liked it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to hear from you too. I love getting your comments. Happy watercoloring everybody. Bye bye.